Cell phone use can be deadly. Here are just a few of the studies that show the risks associated with exposure to mobile phone radiation. Microwave radiation causes eye damage. A study published in the journal Bioelectromagnetics showed that the microwave radiation from cell phones causes cataracts and other eye damage by creating tiny air pockets in the lens of the eye. Microwave radiation damages DNA. A four-year study conducted by the European Union by 12 research groups in seven European countries found that radiation from cell phones harms body cells and damages DNA. The damaged DNA was passed on to subsequent generations of cells, a condition for the formation of cancer. Cell phone usage causes tumors. A team of researchers at Institute of Environmental Medicine at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden, found almost a four-fold increase of the tumors, known as acoustic neuromas, on the side of the head where the phone was most often held. A recent study sanctioned by the World Health Organization found an increased risk of brain tumors in people who have used the phones for 10 years or more. Cell phone usage disrupts children's brains. A study conducted by the Spanish Neurodiagnostic Research Institute in Marbella found that two minutes of cell phone usage disrupted brain function in children for up to an hour after the exposure ended. The abnormal brain function could result in psychiatric and behavioral problems and impair learning ability. Cell phone usage causes sterility in women and might be the reason for birth defects and damaging the growth of embryos. A study of researchers in Switzerland on over 10,000 women between 18 and 25 confirmed tests already made on animals. Cell phone usage cuts male fertility. Research results show that mobile phone usage reduces sperm count and damages surviving sperm. Microwave radiation causes brain damage. A study headed by Leif Salford, Department of Neurosurgery at Lund University in Sweden and published in Environmental Health Perspectives, shows that cell phone use damages neurons in the brain. The head absorbs radiation. Headaches, nausea, dizziness, short-term memory problems, fatigue, and other complaints resulting from cellular phone use are not due to low-level heating of the brain, instead, they're apparently caused by the head serving as an antenna and brain tissue as a radio receiver, according to two Jerusalem researchers. Thus, precaution must be taken in the use of cell phones, they wrote. Mobile phone signals affect brain activity. A study reported in the Journal of Sleep Research, Blackwell Publishing, found that 30 minutes exposure to electromagnetic fields, as from GSM mobile phones, caused changes to brain activity which lasted long afterwards. Dr. Peter Ackerman and colleagues from the University of Zurich and IDIS in Zurich found that blood flow increased in areas of the brain on the side nearest the phone and that this effect lasted for over half an hour afterwards. They also discovered that the brain's electrical activity, or brain waves, was not only affected immediately after the exposure, but that this lasted through much of the subsequent night's sleep. Radiation from cell phones makes cancer grow faster. Italian scientists have raised new health concerns about the safety of using mobile phones, with research showing radio waves from the handsets make cancerous cells grow more aggressively. Cell phone radiation can cause brain tumors. An epidemiology study conducted by Dr. Leonard Hartel found a higher incidence of brain tumors on the sides of heads used by mobile phone subscribers to make and receive calls. The study was published in the August 2002 issue of the European Journal of Cancer Prevention. Cell phones increase blood pressure. The June 1998, The Lancet reported that radiation from mobiles caused an increase of blood pressure. Just as the tobacco industry was able to hold back the truth regarding the health effects of smoking, the cell phone industry has suppressed the truth about cell phone hazards. If you care about your health and the health of your family, take the time to educate yourself and have the courage to act on what you find. Even if you don't care about yourself, you should consider the burden you will place on others by deliberately damaging your health. Who will take care of you when you are too sick to care for yourself? Reuters report, FDA to review wireless phone safety, April 6, 2006. Swedish researchers said last month that the use of cellular phones over a long period of time can raise the risk of brain tumors. Those who heavily used wireless phones had a 240% increased risk of a cancerous tumor on the side of the head where they used their phone, they reported. 
British research group warns that children under 16 should refrain from using mobile phones because of possible health effects on growing children, smaller heads, less intelligence. Recent studies confirm that cell and cordless phone can damage nerves in the scalp, cause blood cells to leak hemoglobin, cause memory loss and mental confusion, cause headaches and induce extreme fatigue, create joint pain, muscle spasms and tremors, alter the brain's electrical activity during sleep, induce ringing in the ears, impair sense of smell, precipitate cataracts, retina damage and eye cancer, open the blood-brain barrier to viruses and toxins, reduce the number and efficiency of white blood cells, stimulate asthma by producing histamine in mast cells, cause digestive problems, and raise bad cholesterol levels, stress the endocrine system, especially pancreas, thyroid, ovaries, tests, and causes female sterility and birth defects. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. So, what you can do to reduce your risk? Simply don't use a cell phone, wireless network, or live near a cell phone tower. Don't stand close to someone who is using a cell phone. Switch off your phone during the night and when not expecting important calls. Minimize the length of calls as much as possible. If you know where the nearest cell phone tower is, don't put yourself between it and your phone, otherwise the signal travels straight through your head to get to the tower. Extend the antenna and hold the phone away from the head when possible. In your car, use a hands-free kit with an external antenna and keep the phone away from your body. The external antenna should be as far away from you as possible. Don't stay in hotels with wireless networks or patronize other businesses with wireless networks. Inform your neighbors and friends of the danger of using mobile phones. Express your concerns to your employer, landlord, your family and everyone else you know. But all this is no longer possible. I am sorry. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.